Even a five-year-old can recognize when you have mineral deficiencies that are dangerous and life-threatening. Number one is white, gray, and silver hair. White, gray, and silver hair indicates a copper deficiency because copper is required to manufacture hair pigment. doesn't matter if your hair uh, or color, if your original hair color is uh, blonde or red or brown or black. Copper is required as a cofactor to manufacture this hair color. So if you have white, gray, or silver hair, you actually have a copper deficiency. Now, if this was just a cosmetic problem, it'd be no worry, but there are more sinister things going on when you have a copper deficiency. Copper is also required as a cofactor to manufacture the elastic fibers in your body, including the elastic fibers in veins and arteries. When you get a breakdown of the elastic fibers in veins, you get spider veins and varicose veins, which can result in a certain, certainly discomfort. But also, uh, you get a breakdown of the elastic fibers in veins, you begin to get a twisting and turning of the veins, so you're at high risk of getting a thrombosis or a blood clot, which can go to your lungs, cause pulmonary embolism or stroke. Then if you get a breakdown of the elastic fibers in your arteries, you get a balloon in that area of weakened wall, of the weakened arterial wall, and this is called an aneurysm. And if it's in a strategic location, like in your head or a coronary artery, and it ruptures, you will bleed to death in seconds. Or you can get a stroke from that type of, of bleeding in the skull. This is due to a copper deficiency. Now, the nice thing about this is if you supplement with colloidal and chelated copper, the hair color will begin to come back, and it always comes back first at the nape of the neck, comes back over the top of the head, then the sides of the head. You're going to look like a pinto pony for a couple of uh, months while this uh, regrowth of hair color is going to take place. But when you see this hair color coming back on the outside, you know that the elastic fibers are healing on the inside in your veins and your arteries. Secondly, there's the liver spots or age spots in the back of your hands, your face, and your neck. And these liver spots, uh, if you have five of them on the outside, you actually have millions of them in your brain, your eyes, your thyroid gland, your lungs, your heart, your liver, your kidneys, your bone marrow. And these are actually rancid fat. They're called trans fatty acids. They're called um, ceroid is a technical name, C-E-R-O-I-D, ceroid lipofuxin. These are trans fatty acids. They're free radicals. They increase your risk of cancer and heart disease many, many hundreds of percent. If you actually have a eyelid twitch, if you have a toe cramp, foot cramp, leg cramp, if you have spasms of the large muscle groups in your back, this indicate, indicates a calcium deficiency. And if you have a calcium deficiency, uh, you don't want to wait until, of course, um, uh, you have something tragic happen, like compression fractures or a fracture of your hip or your leg, which can be life-threatening. You want to supplement with calcium in the most um, a uh, quick way you can do it. And of course, you want to do this as colloidal and chelated calcium so you can rebuild those bones. And um, uh, this is extremely important. Don't miss these things. You could be 15 years old and have an eyelid twitch. Your body's telling you that you have a calcium deficiency. If you have low blood sugar, narcolepsy, or hyperinsulinemia, if you have diabetes, if you have adult onset type 2 diabetes, this indicates that you have a chromium and vanadium deficiency. And if you supplement with chelated and colloidal chromium and vanadium, it'll take about four to six months for your low blood sugar, your narcolepsy, and your hyperinsulinemia to stabilize. And in a period of a couple of months, you should be able to significantly reduce the amount of either insulin or oral medication you're taking for your adult onset and type 2 diabetes. Then, the most common symptom of um, mineral deficiency occurs in 95% of all Americans. This is a, a symptom called pica and cribbing. It's his technical name for cravings and binge eating habits. In 1975, the U.S. Department of Agriculture said 95% of all Americans, regardless of age, are minerally deficient. And the most universal symptom of this mineral deficiency is pica and cribbing. These are, are cravings and binge eating habits. And the snack food industry has convinced people when you have these cravings and you have these binge eating habits and behaviors, is because you need their chips and dips and candies and chocolate and soft drinks and so forth. In fact, your body is screaming for minerals. And all you have to do is supplement with minerals and this binge eating habits go away. Now, farmers know about this. They see animals chewing on fences and half doors in the barn. These animals will be chewing on wire and nails and the paint off the barn. A good farmer or rancher will give those animals some minerals to save on veterinary bills, to save the animal's life, and uh, to prevent having to rebuild the fence. Little children, little toddlers, will also get pike and cribbing, and I know you've seen them eating dirt and sand and handfuls of dirt out of the house plants. In the extreme, they may even eat the Tootsie Rolls out of the kitty litter box. 
They might eat the lead paint or the caulking from around the windows. This is because they're merely deficient and they're craving things. They're going to stick a lot of things in their mouth trying to identify what they need. Pregnant women are legendary for having pica and cribbing. As the embryo develops, it steals uh, minerals from the mother. It steals minerals from the mother to develop. And if she's not supplementing with minerals faster than the embryo is taking them from her, she's going to develop pica and cribbing. And she's going to want pickles and ice cream, usually at 2 o'clock in the morning. She's going to want pickles and ice cream. Uh, she's going to want chocolate, curly french fries. She may go out in the moonlit night out in the backyard with a spoon and eat clay. This is because the embryo is taking minerals from her faster than she is taking them in. Teenagers are legendary at having pica and cribbing. Adult non-pregnant women and adult men also get pica and cribbing. And this is because they're merely deficient. And again, their bodies are screaming for minerals. Don't forget, 95% of all Americans are merely deficient. And only you can consciously take in those 60 essential minerals. Remember, 10 deficiency diseases times 60 essential minerals is 600 diseases that are preventable with proper mineral supplementation. And the way to do it is by using the plant-derived colloidal minerals, which are up to 98% available to you, as opposed to inorganically bound minerals, which are ground-up rocks. These are only 3 to 5% available to an adult. And the best way for human beings and animals to take in, the way we're designed to do it, is in the plant-derived colloidal form. Uh, we are not designed to eat up uh, uh, mineral supplements. We are not designed to consume minerals as a uh, ground-up rocks in any way, shape, or form. We're designed to get our minerals by eating grains, vegetables, fruits, and nuts. The way it's supposed to be in the big scheme of things is that our food plants, our grains, vegetables, fruits, and nuts, take minerals out of the soil, the inorganic minerals out of the soil, convert them to colloidal minerals for their own use, and then we eat these grains, vegetables, fruits, and nuts, and that's how we're designed to get our minerals. And unfortunately, um, plants cannot manufacture minerals. Minerals do not occur in a uniform blanket around the crust of the earth. We've used a very simple fertilizer over the years, NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, to make sure we get the maximum yields in terms of tons and bushels per acre. Nobody gives a farmer any kind of tax break to make sure we get all 60 essential minerals. Therefore, it's yours and my responsibility to do that.